guy. We have to stop taking Finn's crops. It's not like I enjoy it either, but what choice do we have? We haven't made a single sale in weeks. How is that even possible? It's just... Oh, that poor, sweet man. He blames the vermin as it is. We're not doing him any actual harm. We can't steal his crops forever. At some point, he's going to realize. That gullible old fool. He wouldn't believe we were stealing from him if we walked up and took the shoes right off his feet. I can't believe you, Kai. We need to figure out a better way. Oh, this is so unlike us. We never wanted to steal from Finn, you know. I would have done anything else if I could. I... I'm horrified by what we've done to such a sweet old man. Oh! Uh, I didn't realize anyone was there. Uh, what do you want? Yes, indeed! You'll be needing the strongest repellent available to rid your garden of those pests. For Finn's garden, you say? Oh, just, uh, don't expect this to work right away. It, uh, has more of a simmering effect, like a strong mulled wine. The longer you leave the repellent on, the more powerful it'll be. That will be five glowstones. Here you are. You're back. What are you looking for today? You heard us. Oh, for crybity. No one's buying herbs like they used to. You understand? You do. Oh, good! Well, you never know who you can trust. Times have been hard since Kaelin's father stopped supporting us. We thought we could make it on our own, but... Uh, truth is, no one seems to have much use for an apothecary. Not out in these parts, anyway. I don't right know where everyone's getting their goods. Maybe it's time we moved on from East Shade and found ourselves a place where we can make a proper living. Actually... There may be something you could help us with. One last try to make it here before we call it quits. Will you help us? You'll help us? Oh, this will mean so much to Kaelin. Have you met Annika? I'm willing to bet she'd help out. But Kaelin's always saying Annika has a generous soul, um, even if she isn't all there upstairs. She lives in the southwest of the Great Shade. Somehow, people around here came to knowing she has more glowstones than many of the rest of us. I'm guessing she doesn't spend too much. Too preoccupied with, uh, other things. Just see if you can borrow 600 glowstones. Word may have gotten around. We had to borrow a bit. <sighs> At this point, we're embarrassed to show our faces around East Shade. Ah, uh, anyhow, if she needs convincing, just tell her it's anyone besides us asking. Go, give it your best. We've really worked our way into a predicament. Even if we left Eastshade, who's to say it would turn out better for us elsewhere? a pot this morning. And you know what? I don't even mind. Today's just my day. Of course. It wouldn't be a bird identification issue by any chance. 
darn. I love a good bird ID. Well, tell me what you're needing glowstones for. You need me to give you glowstones so you can help a friend. And tell me, what's the name of this friend? Right, of course. And where on the island might I find this person? I see, I see. Uh, unfortunately, I cannot help you help your friend. Financial troubles north of here? No doubt you've been spending time with Kai and Kaylin. True, but you're not. Kaylin's a sweetheart, but that Kai. A weasel if I ever heard of one. But you're new to each day. Lots of people didn't like back when Kai was overcharging for potions. Not that it bothered me so much, but he sure upset a lot of other people. He steals from owls, of course. The most magnificent of all creatures. You see, owls love rubbing their beaks against the soft part of the black thistle. It comforts them. And Kai simply waltzed into the great shade and snatched black thistle, an endangered plant, I'll have you know, and stuck it into some potion to sell. Kai is no friend to owls. Who would do something so terrible? Once a snake, always a snake. I can't help you. And whatever you do, don't pick the black thistle. Bye now. like myself at the moment. I mean, what kind of people are we? What have we become? You're right. We made our beds, full of lice and thorns, I suppose. And now to sleep in them. We'll need to make this up to Finn somehow. Oh, what a lovely woman. Don't listen to what my husband says about her. I haven't made it to Southland in some time. How is Annika doing? Glad to hear it. And does she seem in need of any tinctures or potions? Sorry, this is not the time. Was she able to offer us anything? One of Kai's potions? Oh, he better not have. No, he wouldn't. For good grief, those days are long behind him. I'm... I'm sorry. I'm just not feeling like myself at the... Oh, what a lovely woman. Don't listen to what my husband says about her. I haven't made it to Southland in some time. How is... Glad to hear it. And... Sorry, this is not the time. Uh, was she able to offer us anything? You spoke to Annika already? What did she say? How did you know? You told her it was me asking? But what do you mean, endangered plant? Oh, is that why people stopped coming around? But why would anyone believe I used something that's protected? I mean, I like plants as much as the next shade folk, but I'd never touch a protected plant, I swear! 
What? My Hydra thistle! Huh. Well, now that I think about it, I guess I could see what people got that idea, but go oh, criminy! Why didn't anyone just ask me about it? This is why we've been broke all these years! No, of course not. Far too risky to use those protected bits of foliage. That's a game I don't mess around with. Look, you haven't seen the best of us, but we've got a lot to offer if we just had a chance. Can you help us? Here's my Hydra Thistle. Find someone to test it, like a scientist. Help me prove I didn't use any protected plants. Nava will certainly have someone who can figure that out. Check the offices on the third floor of the Common Quarter. Please hurry. We can't survive much longer without any customers. The Great Traveller returns! Were you able to get some repellent? Well, thanks, friend. This should do the trick. You be safe now, and don't forget to smell the roses. Hoo-wee! Special veggie stew coming right up! See you soon! da dee da mice in my garden, fiddle-dee-dee, squash in my stew. See you soon. Oh, hello there. Mind the plants underfoot. I overheard your conversation with Bojan. He'll be so excited to have you as a friend. He's a very special individual. There's no one who loves rafting as much as he does. Though he can be difficult at times, he's a kind soul. I appreciate your cordialness. Ah, a blossoming botanist, I see. To start, you'll need some roots. You can find them at the bases of trees. I can show you how to make twine, but it is a process. I see you're a painter. I would so love some artwork in my home. I'm quite partial to sandy beaches. What do you say? If you make me a painting, I'll teach you how to make twine. I look forward to seeing your work. I like to go walking over there. It's nice to take in the sea air from time to time. Any friend of Bojan's is a friend of mine. Here. Mind the plants underfoot.
What a lovely sandy beach you've painted. Would you be willing to give it away for the opportunity to learn? This is splendid. It will be the prized piece of my sitting room. Now, here's how to make twine. Mind the plants underfoot. Painted that owl. C can I buy it from you? <laughs> this is great. Ooh, ooh. Is this too many glowstones? I wouldn't know. I've never bought a painting before. You've got a real ear for birds. Let me know if you ever need anything. Bye now. 